Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M08.com here, bringing you a video podcast even on my vacation. That's how much I care about you guys. This week, we're talking a little bit about our personal minimums. More than just the I'm safe checklist, although we're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna look at setting our own personal minimums as a pilot. So let's go ahead and watch the video. Setting personal minimums is something that instructors and checkride examiners alike love to talk about. So there's two facets to this. There's the one that FAA gives you, and that's what's known as the I'm safe checklist. I'm safe stands for illness. How are you feeling today? Are you under the weather or sick? M is for medication. Are you taking any medication that you shouldn't be flying on or is going to alter your ability to fly? Stress. Are you stressed at work or overwhelmed with something at home? A is for alcohol. Remember, it's eight hours bottle to throttle. F is for fatigue. Have you slept enough? How tired are you? Should you go flying right now? And the E one, I've heard two ways. E, I've heard as emotions, but I kind of think emotions and stress go hand in hand. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But I like to call it eaten. And maybe that's just for me because I sure like to eat a lot. But if I'm feeling low blood sugar, if I'm feeling hungry, I never fly my best. So on my I'm safe checklist, I add eaten instead of emotions. But let's dive a little bit deeper than just what the FAA gives us, the, the I'm safe checklist. What about you? What are your minimums for weather? I'll tell you mine. And you'd be surprised, they're actually, I'm an instrument rated, I mean, I, I'm a CFII, I teach people how to fly instrument. And mine are still that classic 3152. Three miles of visibility. If I can't stay 1,000 feet above the clouds, 500 feet below from them, or 2,000 feet horizontally, I usually am not going to go fly it. Now granted, I fly solid IMC quite a bit. And I know that breaks that rule. But there are certain times and in certain aircraft where I feel comfortable enough to fly IMC. However, I'm by no means really going to go out and do it in my very limited, you know, single nav com 150. Or I'm, you know, in, in lesser aircraft, I'm just not going to do it. But when I'm flying maybe the uh, 182S that we fly down in the Keys, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm certainly not going to fly into a thunderstorm or any crazy weather that way, though. What about our fuel? What's the minimum you're going to leave the ground with uh, fuel-wise? So think about that. Obviously, enough to get to your destination, and then the, the requirement of 30 or 45 minutes reserve, depending if you're flying at day or night, but you need more than that. That reserve of 30 minutes, you will be real thankful if you take off with more fuel. So what's think about your fuel minimum. And also, safety gear. This one a lot of people don't talk about, but what's the minimum requirement? flying safety gear wise, what if you are going down to the Keys and you have to fly over to the Everglades? What would happen if you had to put that airplane down in the Everglades? Would you be wearing flip flops? I, I would hope not. You know, you would hopefully bring, you know, a knife or a signaling flare or something like that. This sounds crazy, but you would be so thankful if something like that happened. So the question is, what about you? Make a list. What are your minimums for weather? When, how do you make your go and no-go decision based on weather, fuel, and safety gear? Hopefully you learned something today to make you a safer pilot. I'm going to get back to enjoying my vacation. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. See ya.